You're a good team with a good to really good quarterback. I'm called a hater. I'm called a denier. I'm afraid. No, 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 no. It's 1A, 1B, Allen and Mahomes. The Bills and Chiefs, they're the Titans of the league. Okay, well, by that standard, you fail. By that standard, in the in your era, your rival is 3-0 and against you in the playoffs. Your sub-rival, the Bengals, is 1-0 and against you in the playoffs. Great teams you have absolutely underachieved. So either you're not that good, you're, you're actually, just, let me rephrase it, you're not that great, and you have just achieved what you're supposed to, but I've been yelled at for years when I've said that, so it must be you actually are great, which means this has been a massive failure of the last five years. It can't be both. It can't be this was a success and we're awesome. That does not exist. And if you're Buffalo, here is the hard part. Colin, I said this to you a year ago, and then it happened again. Each year, they get further away. 2020, in the AFC title game. Okay, that's great. 2021, the 13 seconds game on the road in round two. That's a little bit of a step back. 2022, round two blown out at home. All right, that's a big step back. 2023, Fire the offensive coordinator. You're six and six. You need a mad dash just to make the playoffs, only to lose another home playoff game. Three years in a row, Mahomes or Burrow have beaten you in the or four years in a row, Mahomes or Burrow beaten you in the playoffs. Two years in a row has happened in your building. So what are you? Are you trying to be, you know, the, the Milwaukee Bucks or the Denver Nuggets? By, by that standard, you failed. Or are you the Philadelphia 76ers? Look at the MVP wow. caliber star I have. Look at the wonderful regular season accomplishments. And look at everyone else going further in the postseason. I, for a while, have said you might be the Sixers. But I'm just a hater who happens to be right about the Bills every <laughs> single time. So that's all I'll say. Okay, so we, I want to go to one NBA question. So okay, started so I started. I, I wish I had gotten this whole thing in totality. And, and shout out to my man Michael Anthony Fitness, who's here with me, and and I don't have a good holder here. Okay, um, they were sitting there talking about because because they're talking about you know how great Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills have been. Okay, Josh Allen. That I mean, you you would have thought that they were talking about a dynasty, but. Here's where, you know, at least he put it the right way that you're really a failure. The only difference between Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills is one year they went to the AFC Championship game, right? So does that make them a better team? I mean, because, you know, they're saying, well, Josh Allen, the MVP can. Well, so, so was Dak. They said great regular season performance. Well, so same thing with the Cowboys. The fact that the Cowboys have three years in a row of 12 wins is just as good as anything that Buffalo has done with the exception of them getting one step further. So there's a perception that the Cowboys suck and are chokers, but Buffalo is great. What do you think about that, Mike? How many Super Bowls does the Buffalo win? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> They've never won one, ever. Now, they went to four straight. That don't mean nothing. And they're basically the NFC East bitches because it was the well, that's the AFC Jet Giants, Washington, and Dallas that kicked their well, ass. That's the AFC East in general. Yeah. Well, no, not not, not with Buffalo. I mean, not with No, not by general because over the years, I think only beat oh, our yeah. division as a whole. Their division be our division as a whole maybe two or three times. Yeah, this uh, the is times true. times that we played each other. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've owned the, the, the Super Bowl. That's a division. But it's just funny because, you know, we keep talking about th – this is my, my argument here where all the Dak Prescott, you got to move on from Dak because, you know, he it, it, it's, this guy would be a proven year. But I'm like, what has Trevor Lawrence done? And he was the number one pick. Yeah, one good year. Yeah, but he's got, I think, second most turnovers in that time right behind Josh Allen. What what has Justin Herbert, because I always keep hearing these elite, you know, elevators quarterbacks and hear about Justin Herbert is one of those guys. But I, I ain't seen 
you know, him deep in the playoffs. Oh, he took a step back with Kellen Moore. <laughs> and Kellen Moore is gone. Well, he's with the Eagles, uh, so they might take a step back at quarterback. And at the moment, I know Eagle fans are going to cuss me out, but I don't care because you're going to cuss me out regardless. What has, with the exception of that one season, Jalen Hurts, where he had a phenomenal team around him, you realize that Jalen Hurts only has two playoff wins, right? Now, I understand. He went to the Super Bowl. But but one of those playoff wins was against the Giants. D does that count? I mean, Daniel Jones. The other one was against San Francisco. Of course, you know, they got softened up playing the Cowboys. But be that as it may, I'm looking at Jalen Hurts that had a meh season the first year he started. A team that built everything around him and helped to make him a game manager and saw him step back last year. And I'm going to tell you, Eagle fans, you're going through your third year now of a changing offensive play caller. And Kellen Moore, good luck with that one. He's a step back. So. You know, the, but the, the piece that you missed in here was, you know, the, that Buffalo, they're a good team. They, they give you wins. They wow you. That there are a multitude of teams that would love to trade positions with Buffalo to have that taste of being in the playoffs. They're not talking about Buffalo needs to blow it up. That Buffalo needs to move on from Josh Allen, though, are they? I, I didn't hear them say that. They're like, well, this is what you are. You know, you're a good team, just not good enough. So how come we don't say that about the Cowboys, that we literally have won more games than Buffalo over the last three years? They're saying we need to blow it up. They're not saying that with them. Some bullshit. That's what it is. Oh, boy. At least we're almost where we need to be, Mike. Pick up this vanity and stop jump right back on the road but here's what's cool we've got the autograph signing show next weekend I'm going to ask you guys do I want to see Shannon Sharp I mean, we can make something before the WrestleMania oh look there's a damn eagle actually it should be Mike Tyson I didn't check and see how much Mike Tyson was did you this is more it depends on what you mean the, the, the cheapest thing was how much for Mike Tyson? Yeah, hmm? It's like, it's like 130, but you only get like only 130. That's if you get the ticket signed. The ticket and anything else, a print or whatever, is gonna cost more than 130. Fudge. Yeah, it, it is fudge. Okay, but Mike Tyson, um, before Jake Paul, there's some rumors that the outcome has already been predetermined. Um, I think Mike Tyson still he, 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 he can, can kick his ass. What do you think? He, he should be in Roy Jones. Roy Jones? Yeah, they fought a couple years back. Okay. He was, he was a better fighter. All right, we'll wait and see. All right, good people. Peace out.